Okay, so I just now watched um, my my hero. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry about that. So I watched My Hero Academia's third movie, The World Heroes Mission movie, and I gotta say it's really good and everything. Um, first off, I like how you know they do incorporate you know elements or not elements like the same thing that's happening in the fourth or fifth fifth season, I believe. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong about that. So yeah, I'm glad that Deck we got to use his Black Whip some um ability that he's been you know that I just unlocked in the fifth season with the uh, class 1a 1b arc really fun stuff um you know he used a creatively creative he used it like fucking swinging around like he's fucking spider-man I was, I was like ah that's that he looks like spider-man when he did that but yeah so glad that you know deku used his ability on that and love how the how the big three is like it's, it's like like being shown a lot more with Todoroki, him, and Bakugo, all that good stuff. They didn't use the stealth suits that much. It was literally for like a hand, not even a handful, like maybe like the first 10 minutes or less is. She like, you got to see him use the suits, and that's basically it. It was kind of like disappointed me a little bit because I thought they look fucking cool in those suits, and I thought they were gonna do, you know, a lot more and just like have the suits on and everything because I thought they. Mm, I thought they looked fucking so dope, and I kind of want to see more of that. But yeah, they're just back to their regular clothing, which is kind of boring, but that's just a me thing. But yeah, I like the character, Rhodey. I like how he, you know, despises um, heroes and everything, but ends up having a change of heart at the end of the film with him and Deku. And with the human rise, I think, like, there wasn't, there wasn't going to top that film. It's really good, but I feel like for villain-wise... The guy who had the cork to reflect stuff. I think he wasn't strong enough as, you know, the villain from, like, the second movie. That literally was becoming, like, what was it? Not all my, um, one for all. Or all for one. One for all 2.0 or some shit that's taking, like, m you know, multiple quirks and everything. I don't think this guy, this villain in this film wasn't as threatening as much as, like, the previous one from the previous film. You know, that's just my personal opinion on this that but hey besides that we get to use we get to see deku again uses 100 percent of his power i love seeing that shit and the minute like i'm not gonna lie to you guys the minute that you say run soundtrack started playing i got literally fucking goosebumps from that i was just like bro because i fuck with that shit on a heavy bro because fucking you say run is such a good um ost to listen to bro it's so fucking cool and he actually kicked the guy's ass and everything as you can tell because it's it's a fucking hero movie what kind of hero movie would it not be if the heroes did not you know save the people at the end of the day you know that kind of contradicts the point of what being a hero but you know jerry how it is it was just a really good enjoyable film um you know most of it is like i think the pacing was really good because they spend most of the time of like trying to find the bombs and everything that this human rise organization or gang or fucking cult or whatever that despises people with cold scent quirks and that they want to eradicate all people that have quirks and to begin to live back to the society where everybody was quirkless and they don't have to be feared or looked upon differently anymore so yeah i just like it, the piecing of how it was between that and then deku's relationship with roadie and i thought really was such Rody is such a fucking good character i love his character design and i love his fucking attitude and his personality it's really fucking cool as a being a delinquent it was really fucking you know cool to see uh, another person's perspective of how they see view heroes as well and how they have like not negative effects because his father joined was forced to join to make this bomb that would eradicate all quarks around the world but hey it, it you know they stopped there at the end of the day so you know it's nothing new but you know with uh, the rest it was just nice again to see some of the characters and then the fight scenes with Todoroki and with Bakugo and Deku were just you know all enjoyable as hell to watch and again the the big villain of the human rise versus deku i thought it was so fucking like i was not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie to you guys because i was thinking in my head like bro how is deku gonna defeat a guy that reflects all his attacks and then he literally thought if oh if i just overdo it then he over charge like my power or whatever he's not gonna reflect like can't over reflect or something or some shit like overpower him like can't like take more what he can't reflect back 
type of deal and it's like wow like that's a good quirk but also a useless one because you don't try to you know do something with that and that's literally how the villain literally lost because of Deku doing that and it was so great like the fight scene was so great but it wasn't top tier as like Deku and Bakuko when they both had one for all it wasn't as magnificent as that because those are two different comparisons because that one was so be beautifully alien beautifully animated but with this one was really good it was on par as well but i feel like you know that one that one i say because of deku it was it was good i'm saying it's good but i won't say it's like the best because the first the best fight out of the three movies has to be with deku and bakugo using both one for all and then the second one will be with is all my and deku versus that one guy who was jacked up on fucking quark steroids or whatever this one it's really it's really good because, you know, you get to see Deku using 100% and he's going full beyond and he used the United States of Smash. That was really fucking cool. But, you know, not the not not my favorite one out of all three of the fights. But it's really good, though, in my opinion. And, uh, yeah, the length time is, like, probably, like, almost two hours long. But it doesn't feel like it's that long because I feel like it's just, like, if you can cut this up into an episode, it wouldn't be that long. But, hey, it's a really, you know, good movie. That's all I'm trying to say. It's a good movie. I'll give this a solid 8 out of 10, in my opinion. Just good stuff. Kept on with, uh, with the fifth season a little bit with split timelines or whatever the hell. But it was nonetheless enjoyable to watch. <sighs> Excuse me. That's... All I gotta say about that, but hey, ready for season uh, six because, like, we gotta see what's happening there. And, um, yeah, just I'm glad this movie came out because, um, I, I've just been itching, like, for more with, like, stuff that I already watched, especially with My Hero Academia. And I'm glad it's continuing on with multiple seasons. And if we got, like, another film, I can't wait for it. Like, I'm, you know, so down to see another movie then hopefully you can you know top this film off the i don't think this one is the strongest film because i think the second one is like white like you gotta you gotta like set a greater expectations after like you know if you make like one good film you gotta make another better film but i think this one as good as it is it doesn't like live up to my same expectation as it was with the second one which was so fucking amazing in my opinion but yeah enough dishing about this am about this movie long enough it's good i liked it and yeah that's just it really i mean let me know what you guys think down below in the comments about my hero academia world hero mission movie and all that good stuff and not that's okay with me but anyways but anyways ladies and gentlemen have a wonderful morning morning night day evening whatever the occasion is and yeah take care later